Hello, I'm Maya, and today I'm going to be filming my favorite thrifted vintage items. Uh, now, these items I've gotten over the course of probably two years or so. Uh, most are most pretty recent, but um, some of them I've had for longer. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first off is this little 70s vintage vest, and it's definitely made of polyester. Um, I absolutely adore the colors in it. I think it is so beautiful. Um, I love this as a bedspread too. Um, I love a lot of color and everything in my life. Um, so here's this, and all of these uh, pieces will have a try-on portion after I kind of go through and describe them. tell when I'm just holding it up but you'll see it on but it just has these gorgeous flowers um, I really love the colors that's actually the colors that I've um, chosen for my bedroom uh, they're kind of my main colors uh, I love the floral print of it it's just a light cotton so it's really nice to wear in the summer uh, when I did get it uh, there have been some holes in the armpits which I feel like it's a pretty common uh, thing for vintage items to have which my grandmother fixed it for me but it's really not that hard to do by yourself but uh, she used to be a professional seamstress so I like having her do it because she does a really good job actually a set and it's this vintage um, like suit set I feel like it's from the 80s but it doesn't have shoulder pads so I'm not sure it's definitely a vintage tag though um, but it's houndstooth which is not necessarily something I really wear but I've tried this on and it fit me so well that I just knew I had to get it um, so it has these kind of garish buttons, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I still like the whole ensemble. And then here is the skirt. It's just a pencil skirt. And this, I think, is made of rayon. So that's great because that means it can't go in the washing machine, which is kind of a bummer. are dry clean only, um, just depending on what they're made out of and their condition. So this next piece is a vintage skirt. Um, I'm not really sure what era this is from. It, it's a pretty old tag, so, um, let me see, hopefully. It's an older tag, so I'm guessing uh, maybe the 50s or 60s, but it could be a little more recent. But it's just this long, uh, circle skirt. It's not, I don't think it's a full circle skirt, but it is similar. It has this cute little lace detailing, and then it also has some buttons just down the front of it. Uh, it is high-waisted and sits at the waist. It, it, basal, <laughs> It is slightly big for me, but um, with a shirt tucked in, it really doesn't matter too much. And then my next piece is, and that skirt I think is just made of cotton, it's just uh, typical denim. Uh, it's a little uh, softer, but uh, yeah, it's just denim. 
Now these nice pants my mom hates. They are, it's the flies in bed. They are just some long yellow polyester pants. And they're super high waisted. Um, they are vintage. They have the uh, vintage tag right here. Um, and I mean, they're kind of crazy, but when I tried them on, they fit me so well that I couldn't pass them up, even though they're a little wild. Um, but I kind of like wild things in my style. So I'll show you these in the try on clip, but they're super cool. pretty recently and it's going to be so nice for fall. It's just this little plaid jumper and it is 100% wool and I think polyester on the inside. Um, I just, I really love the colors. Uh, it's a lot of primaries but uh, darker and then there's green thrown in there. Um, so there's that. I think I'll wear it with just a turtleneck underneath it. Uh, in one of these colors or in white and I just think it is an adorable look with maybe some longer socks for the fall. Um, so I just I absolutely love this uh, vintage piece. but I'm not certain of that. But it's just this vintage nightgown and it is long and super flowy and just like so beautiful. Um, it has pastel flowers. Uh, I think those are poppies, I'm not 100%. Some of them I feel like need to be kind of sewn back on in a few places, but other than that, it's in amazing condition. It doesn't have any stains or anything. Um, and then, this says what it's, maybe it doesn't, oh, it's, uh, nylon. So, that's also nice because this can just go in the washing machine and won't shrink or do something weird like some of those other things will. Um, but I just love this. I'm thinking, even though, I think it's not the best to cut vintage items. But I'm thinking of getting this tailored and getting a few inches off. You'll see in the try on clip, I just think it's a little long to look stylish if I were to wear it as a dress. Um, it is really sheer, so I'll have to wear this little bodysuit with shorts underneath. Um, but I just feel like it's so like ethereal and beautiful that if I just got a few inches cut off, it would just look so uh, pretty to wear in the summer and would be so breezy. Um, so I'm considering that. I was going to have my grandmother do it, but she said you need a special sewing machine to uh, sew on this type of fabric. So I'll have to leave it up to some professionals if I do it. beautiful pattern on the sleeves and the sleeves do uh, kind of flare out and then have a cuff um, with the original buttons on it. Excuse my nails, I should have redone them but we, what can you do? Um, it does have the vintage union made tag which uh, a lot of times you can date items by this type of tag. 
uh, you can, there's some website that will show you uh, what the different tags, what time periods they were used for. Um, so this dress is a little big on me. I got it a while ago. Um, and it's, it's a little big on me, but I mean, I just like having it around. I like the history of all these items and just looking at these styles of the past. I think they're very beautiful. Um, and this, I think, is made of 100% polyester, so it's very hot. Okay, this next one, oh, I just love this. This is a 60s dress, um, probably late 60s, early 70s. It is floral and it's kind of in those colors that I like. I love the green and orange and then it throws in some pink and some almost like nude. Uh, but it's a long dress and it has these pretty little ruffly sleeves and it's kind of straight down. Um, when I wear it, since it is a little bit big for me, I like to wear a little um, it's like a little corset belt that I put around and I feel like it makes it kind of edgier and um, I just enjoy doing that and cinching the waist but I could just wear it how it is and it would still be gorgeous um, which I think this also may have a union made tag in it no it doesn't I'm thinking of something else um, this is Dutch made size 15 so Okay, it's 70% triacetate and 30% polyester, so all synthetic, uh, but I mean, it's size 15, but like as you can see, vintage sizing is a lot smaller than um, our sizing nowadays. Like, I'm a vintage 6 a lot of times in pants. So definitely if you go thrifting, check other sections because sometimes they will put vintage items in the section where like the number would fit but it will be a small item um, so just definitely check around usually with these type of pieces I feel like I just I spot them right away like my eyes just dart to them across the store um, but I like a lot of fun patterns and stuff so that's probably why okay so this next for first in the like my favorite pieces okay so this is a two-piece set so we have the top totally 70s look at that collar look at those colors the back is all patterned it has little skinny sleeves that are like longer it's I mean when I saw this, I actually found the pants first, and then I saw this, and I, I mean, I should have bought a lottery ticket that day, but it has these little metal buttons, you can see there's some cat hair from my cat, um, and I mean, this fits like a dream, too, not only is it just, you can wait till you see these pants, not only is it a just dreamy vintage like suit. Oh, the bell bottoms. I, it's so amazing. Now this is 100% acetate. So it says dry clean only, but I feel like you can maybe throw this in the wash. I wouldn't just because, I mean, I feel like a piece of my soul is connected to this. <laughs> um, but uh, that type of stuff you can kind of sometimes get away with, but I mean, look at the pants and the pattern, it's just wild. I've worn this all together before and I get some looks and I just look right back because I'm sure they're jealous of my 70s uh, like jumpsuit. with the 
jumpsuit for my absolute favorite vintage thrift find, which this I actually found at a flea market, so not technically thrift, but it was only $10. I saw it, at, that was one of those things. I locked eyes with it across the parking lot of the flea market. And I, I just knew, like, I walked over there and I saw this gorgeous, 60s dress. The sleeves are sheer, which is kind of hard to tell since they're so padded. It has a mock neck, and the neck actually you can wear it up if you want it. Um, it says dry clean only. It is definitely, I mean it's definitely synthetic. I would say polyester and maybe acetate, um, but it has this. It has a beautiful detail. I don't know if you can see it, where it kind of like crosses under the bust area. It has a beautiful detail there and then it just goes down into this long skirt. I mean you can tell it's just so big which um I mean this this fits me so well. The sleeves are long enough, the dress itself is long enough and I'm 5'11 <laughs> and pretty small so I mean, finding you, you'll see the uh, pants of the 70s suit are a little short, but I feel like ankle pants are kind of the style, so I can still pull it off. But um, I mean, finding something that's my size and long enough is a pretty impossible endeavor. And finding this, I mean, I just feel so amazing when I wear this. Uh, it's so beautiful. It was only $10. I just, I can't get over it. I love vintage pieces. I love bright patterns that are just happy and bold. Um, so that's my final piece. Uh, let me put it up. find your own vintage pieces. Uh, I could do a video that is about thrifting vintage pieces and how to find them. If you guys would like, uh, we can see about that. But I hope that you enjoyed seeing these pieces and experiencing them like I do. So thank you and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more and have a wonderful day. Bye!